Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You know what time it is? It's time to get that engine out. Let's do it. So I've got the engine crane, got the engine stand. I've got to pull everything off this and get it out and inspect a cylinder three. So let's get stuck into it. It's about 8.30 now. Hopefully we can get it done before midnight. Alright guys, time to start pulling everything off this so I can get the engine out. So I'm going to drain the oil back into one of these containers because it hasn't even left the driveway yet. Um, so hopefully it's alright. I should be able to reuse that. I'll obviously filter that before it goes back in. But yeah, we'll drain the oil and pull off the catch cans and stuff while that's draining. And then we'll do the mounts underneath and then we can do coolant, radiator obviously and pipes and turbos and whatnot. We'll get her out tonight. Alright guys, so I got most of it done. I did get called back inside to put the little one down again because he woke up. So I got about 45 minutes into it. So I'm actually pretty lucky that I got called away because a couple of people said just check that it hasn't been sucking in oil through the PCV valve and the breather because they are all close to the third cylinder so check that first before you go pulling the engine so i'm going to do that i'm also going to check the the piping i pulled off because i don't actually have a catch can on that so we'll have a quick look at that before i pull that off so i'm going to pull the intake off see if it's all oily and if it's oily in the tgv area we know it's not piston related, rings related. Okay, so it just popped off the block breather. So it's a bit of condensation there. Can't really see here. This is the PCV valve. Looks dry there. But yeah, we'll pull the intake off first which is okay because if I do go to pull it out we're using that hook there and around here so that'll be out of the way but will also give me a chance to paint that up as well also you can see we have a vacuum line which I've undone and we've got a fuel line that runs through here so I'm gonna have to pull it off and over that way
All right, just looking down into the intakes. They look all nice and clean. No oil, you can see here, no oil. A little bit of oil on that one. But, yeah. Awesome. So, uh, gotta go put the kids to bed, come back, get this engine out. A few moments later. Hi right, guys, got it out. It wasn't too bad. The hardest thing was the uh, engine crane kept playing up again. So had to bleed it and no, it worked all right. So you can see we lost a bit of oil over there as well from the sandwich plate. I forgot I hadn't undone that yet, so We're dripping a little bit into this one from there and the cooling into that one. So yeah. I'll get the turbo off now while that's still draining. Alright guys, been tearing it down a little bit. I'm nearly to the point of getting the cam gears off. So I need to go to the Black Foz and get the Company 23 tool from there. And we should be able to get this head off tonight. Alright, got the Company 23 tool and the H10 to undo the cam gears we'll get the cams over here on this nice soft spot over here then we'll get the heads off so oh, it's time to rotate and for more fluids to come out so it's two cams oh I'll get the light So this hasn't been flipped over this way, so there's no reason for the oil to come out. Hmm. Alright, get the cams out, get the head off. And we'll inspect the piston. Day three. Alright guys, so I'm going to wrap this episode up here. I've got to rehone the bore. So I'm going to be stripping the whole engine down. And we're going to be putting the stock pistons back in. So ever since putting these manly pistons in. Um, I've had some pretty bad piston slap. So I've got the original ones here. So I'm going to clean them up get them in we're going to be still using the manly rods and everything else so we're just going to change them so hopefully i can actually drive the car because it's getting frustrating so over the next week i'm going to be tearing it down rehone it put everything back together get it back in and hopefully it starts by next week so we need to have piston rings we'll see how we go with that Thanks for watching. Bye.